these are the tools and the materials that I'll be using for this tutorial. Pencil, fashion rulers, measuring tape, fabric scissors, paper scissors, pattern papers, and a dress form or a model. Next, get these required measurements. For the bust, get the measurement of the biggest part and record. For the waist, get the smallest part and record. And for the hip, measure 858 inches or 22 centimeters from the waist, and that's the biggest part of the hip. For each bust, waist, and hip measurements, Add 1 inch or 2.5 centimeters for the ease and get the 1 fourth. For the neckline, use these calculations for the front neck weave and for the front neck height. Next, get the measurements for the front waist length, the shoulder length, and the front chest. For the front chest, get the half and record. And lastly, get the back chest and the back waist length measurements. And for the back chest, it's also the same with the front chest. Get the measurement in half and record. Please record your measurements before you draft. Always remember to use your own measurements. I didn't put my own measurements from my dress form so that you won't get confused. Let's now move on to the pattern drafting. From the bottom of your paper, draw a horizontal line. Next, draw a vertical line perpendicular to the bottom line. From the bottom line, mark up hip to waist measurement. It's 858 inches or 22 centimeters. And draw a horizontal line. So this is the waistline and the bottom line is the hip line. Next, from the waistline, mark up the front waist length measurement. And again, from the waistline, mark up for the back waist length measurement. For the bust line, get the half of the front waist length and mark. And from these marks, draw a horizontal line. Again, this is the bust line. For the chest line, divide bust to front waist length in half and mark up from the bust line, like this one. And draw a horizontal line. Again, this is the chest line. So this is the hip line, this is the waist line, this is the bust line, chest line, front waist length, and the back waist length.
From the hip line, mark in one-fourth of hip measurement. Here's an example calculation and please always refer to your measurements sheet. From the waistline, mark in one-fourth of waist measurement. Connect these two marks together using a hip or a curve ruler. And label respective lines to avoid confusion. From the bust line, mark in one-fourth of the bust measurement. For the chest line, mark in one-half of the front chest measurement. And again, going back to the chest line, mark in one half of the back chest measurement. Label chest line as front and back chest line. Extend the front waist length line or mark. From this line, mark in front neck weave. From the front neck weave, square up a vertical line. From this line, mark up the front neck height. And get the lower one third of the front neck height. And use this measurement to square up a line from the front neck width line. This is the shoulder level. Next, square in the back waist length line or mark. And from the front neck height, draw a curve for the front neck line. Again, from the front neck height, draw a curve for the back neckline. It looks like a boat shape, like this one. Again, from the front neck height, mark in shoulder length and please refer to your measurement sheet from the beginning of the video. And draw a diagonal line for the shoulder. For the side seam, add front waist length and back waist length and divide by 2 plus 1 inch or 2.5 centimeters and mark up this measurement from waistline. And draw a diagonal line for the side seam, passing through the bust line and towards the side seam measurement. And lastly, Draft curve lines for the front and back armholes. From shoulder length to the front and back chest and to the side seam. And then there you go. We are done drafting the dartless bodice. For the sleeve pattern, measure the front and back armholes and record the measurements. To start off the draft, draw a vertical line and a horizontal line, axis Y and X. From the horizontal line, 
mark up 3 inches or 13.3 centimeters. This is the armhole depth. Label back and label front. From the armhole depth, mark out or square out the back armhole. And draft a diagonal line. And do the same procedure for the front. On the first marks, mark up 3 16th or 0.4 cm. And on the last marks, mark down 1 8 of an inch or 0.3 cm. Next, use a curve ruler to curve around the armholes. By the way, the sleeve length, it's also the same procedure with the basic sleeve pattern. And I will put the video link here so better check it out. For the mock-up, I made these patterns from the Dartless Bodice Slopper. Front and back are on fold and I used 2 eighths of an inch for the sewing allowances. And for the sleeve length, I used 5 inches. Luckily for me, I found a cotton fabric from my previous collections, so I will use it for the mock-up. And I'm going to my sewing station and start sewing this. FYI, this is not a sewing tutorial, but let me know in the comment section if y'all are interested on a separate sewing tutorial for the shirt, and I'll make it happen. So this is the mock-up for the dartless bodice. As you can see, it fits my dress form. And with the dartless bodice, imagine how many potential garments you can make for yourself or for your friends or for your clients or customers. You can make a shirt, crop top, camisoles, and so much more. By the way guys, comment down below if you have any questions and I'll make it sure to answer as quickly as possible. And don't forget to give this video a huge thumbs up and subscribe to my YouTube channel La Modeliste and I'll see you guys again on the next tutorial. A bientôt!